just wanted to make you a video of uh, some of the various engines that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, the pieces shown here are from the two-stroke sleeve valve creasy type engine I'm working on. Zoom in on the sleeve drive here. We're going with a chain drive for the uh, sleeve drive shaft here. Chain seemed to work out a little better than uh, gears did for this particular one. And here's our cylinder head for it. Unlike the four-stroke sleeve valve, the sleeve doesn't come above the uh, face of the block. Let's show you the other side. There. We still have to uh, cut some shallow cooling fins in it. And there's the sleeve. Got a lot of machining to do on it. It's not as complicated as the four-stroke, though. There's uh, there's only drilled holes at the bottom for the ports. The top of the sleeve drops down to uncover the exhaust ports uh, in the block. So when I build this engine, there will be holes cut up here for exhaust ports and uh, down about here for intake ports uh, through the block wall. Okay, so that's it for the creasy. This one here is a full speed camshaft drive. Get drive from the crank here over and it turns the camshaft at full crankshaft speed. You can see the camshaft in it has two lobes so it opens both valves at once. And the next one, this is a uh, two cylinder oppose that I'm uh, looking at building. It would actually go like this. It's using a single crankshaft with uh, two connecting rods uh, hanging off it. The only way I figured out to do this is to make the connecting rod half of its original thickness. Fit the two of them on the same uh, same crankshaft. I believe that's the easiest way. Crankcase cover is going to be interesting, though, as it'll be it'll be very tiny, and there'll be uh, two camshafts, of course, to open up the regular uh, valves, L-head type valves. Anyways, that's it for now.